Hello there and welcome to my office. My name is Dr. Kenshi and I'll be conducting your examination today. I presume that the nurse has collected your personal information, is that right? Great, then that means we can start straight ahead with our series of tests. So let us proceed. Okay, so first of all, we have the eye examination which includes the good old snail and chart, then just a little bit of a flashlight inspection, just to check the health and condition of your eyes, specifically your pupils, and also to check for any signs for double vision or glaucoma. Okay? All right, so let's get on with it. First. First of all, it's just a regular vision test. Can you see it? Is that precision okay for you? Great, okay, perfect. So, let's start with this line here. Okay, very good. Next line. Okay, perfect. Now, next line again. Okay, very good, correct, also correct, lovely, perfect. And now next line again, okay, very good, perfect, mm -hmm. yes, okay, and again next line, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. good, very good, okay, perfect. And then again, can you read this line for me? Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. Very good. Lovely. Perfect. Amazing. Impressive. Okay. Now I just want you to cover one of your eyes and tell me this line here. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Now the other eye, eye this line here. Yes. Perfect. Impressive. Very impressive. So that was the regular vision test, which gave me general idea of your vision. I can tell that your vision is just perfect. I'm just putting on some gloves. next step so I'm going to use this flashlight I'm gonna be checking your pupils and uh, gonna test your eyes in terms of reflexes and coordination okay All right so I just want you to look straight ahead stare at my nose here focus All right mm -hmm. yes perfect just inspecting your eyes I'm not gonna point the flashlight for too long at you because it's too bright and I don't want to cauterize your eyes, okay? Mm hmm That's it. Doing an amazing job. Being such a great patient. Okay. Now with the other eye here. Very good. That's it, that's the way. Keep it going. And a little bit more. Just hold it like this for a little bit more. That's it. And... Perfect. Okay, now gonna test the reflex and coordination of your eyes so I just want you to look up for me yep very good now look down 
Okay. Now look to this side. And now to this side here. That's it. Perfect. And now just once again, look up for me. That's it. And now just look down. Okay, now just quickly look up for me and hold it for a few seconds. Okay, perfect. Now just quickly tell me when you see the light in your field of vision, okay? Good. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm gonna check for a double vision. Just want you to follow my finger. Like this. Just follow it. Follow its directions. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Is there any discomfort? Any double vision? No? Okay. So, have you found the movements of my finger like... Uh, was it blurry? No? Okay, perfect. Okay, so now just tell me when my fingers leave your peripheral vision. Good. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Just to record some results here. So far so good, everything seems to be normal for now. Your pupils are in healthy condition, that's all I can say. Just need to put these gloves down. So for the next step, I'm going to use this tool to test your motor functions, your motor nerves. I'm gonna hit gently uh, specific places, parts of your arms, legs, kneecaps and the back just to check for any weaknesses and check your response okay so i just want you to relax now this isn't going to be painful at all okay now this arm here this place okay and their response is great here okay now i just want you to uh, sit back so the legs can be nice and loose. Okay, yes, thank you for your cooperation. Okay, response is great here. Perfect, now your kneecaps. Okay, now at the back, just a few spots here. Okay, how about here? Okay, no weakness is found. to record down some progress. Okay, now, just, you see this? Do you feel it? It's a little bit sharp, but it's not that deep. Okay, now I'm gonna stroke your palm with it. Just look straight ahead and don't pay attention. Okay, same thing here. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Perfect. We did that right. That's great. Okay, 
days and now I'm just gonna have a general checkup of your breathing with my stethoscope. And also, I just want to have a good lesson of your heart. So, what I'd like you to do is just take some really nice deep breaths and then exhale. Okay, perfect. Breathe in. Breathe out. of your chest. Breathe in, breathe out, and now just have a good listen of your heart. Breathe in, and out. Okay, now I'm just gonna have a listen at your back. Breathe in, you to have some really nice deep breath for me like this and hold it and release it okay now just breathe in and out as fast as you can okay breathe in breathe out 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 okay okay your uh, lungs and your breathing seems to be normal Okay, so now I'm gonna dish your autonomic nerve just by measuring your temperature with this thermometer. Of course, the thermometer in your mouth, what do you expect? Uh, no, we don't do this here. Okay, um, so I just want you to open your mouth for me so I can put the thermometer in it. Okay, all right. Now we just need some time to measure it. Okay, open your mouth for me. Okay, let's see. 36.8, pretty normal to me. I'm just writing down the progress of our examination so far. It is really vital for us. Unfortunately, I have to go. I have an urgent matter to attend that, but I will be sending you to Dr. May. She's a great colleague and she will be taking care of you and the rest of the examination. She's at the upper floor, uh, room 264, you won't miss it out, just go there, she's already waiting for you. Yeah, have a great day. So, it will be a basic examination that I will conduct on you today. Um, first things first, I just need to get in your personal information. Mm -hmm. So, yes, exactly, name, mm -hmm. last name, address, and you were born... perfect? Yes. When was your last uh, general practitioner visit? Very good. Yeah, it's, it's very good that you keep um, to date with yeah. your not missing appointment. That's very good. You know, a lot of people, what they do is, is that they skip their um, yearly or annual checkups. Precisely. Okay, so I'm looking through your history now, and I see that you've had some problems sleeping, okay. Are you under a lot of stress recently? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, okay. So, has there been any drastic changes in your health since the last time we met? Or the last time that I've see seen you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... 
perfect so um if you could just let me know about your family history i will be asking you a few questions regarding your um any illness that may run into in your family or yes exactly any ailment you we've done this before so right so you you forgot to tell me about some illnesses that your parents may have okay not a problem it's okay i can understand why it might be stressful under a doctor's exam so perfect absolutely don't worry about it at all so i have my trusty notebook here and yeah please continue so you said mother had hypertension diabetes mm -hmm. When was she diagnosed with that? Is she being treated right now? Perfect. What about your father? Also hypertension? High blood pressure, which is hypertension. Mm -hmm. He had a stroke in 2004. Okay. Yeah. And an infarct. Myocardial infarction. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis. Is your father a drinker? Big on alcohol consumption. Okay. But I assume you don't do that. Okay. Good. I'm just checking. So the way that alcohol can affect you is that it causes um, fatty liver. It's called alcoholic fatty liver disease, and it can influence the liver in a way that will cause it to form fat uh, cells or fat cells become to accu be begin accumulating within the liver and that can be damaging it's known as steatosis um once um this increases or once the insult to the liver does not stop it can continue to become exactly um steatohepatitis and then yeah and then eventually it can progress to cirrhosis in a lot of the cases a lot of the times it that would be irreversible liver damage Okay, so let's get on with the general examination. Don't worry, I don't need much. I don't need much time to conduct it at all. So I can see from your face that maybe perhaps you haven't been sleeping well. Please just look at me now, face, face, yeah, face me. I'm just gonna be checking your uh, lymph nodes now. Lymph nodes are a source of fighting infection. It's where lots of lymph drains into specific centers in which they can be handled by immune cells. So, I'm going to be checking your submandibular. Submandibular, submandibular. Mm -hmm. All good. Now I'm going to be checking your submental. Submental. Very good, very good. Now I'm going to be checking your cervical. Mm -hmm. And then you have some on your the back of your neck as well. Very good, very good. All good, no swelling here. There will be also around uh, the clavicles as well. I'm just gonna palpate you over there. Mm -hmm. Please raise up your arm. I'm gonna be checking your axillary lymph nodes for any signs of enlargement or swelling. Do you usually get swollen lymph nodes? Perfect, perfect. No, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I just want you to look at me. Just look at me. I'm just gonna be checking your under eyes for, for a second. Yes, very good, very good, very good. All good. Mm hmm. I'm just going to be palpating around your face a little bit to feel any sort of, you know, asymmetry or anything of the like. Very good. Mm -hmm. Please open your, open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Take out your tongue. Say, ah. Uh, perfect. All good. No, don't worry. I don't need a light. Please turn your head to the left. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be checking your ears. All good. Please turn to the other side. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. It doesn't seem to be a problem there. Uh, show me your hands. Mm -hmm. Turn them over, please. Yes. You've told me that you've had pain on the palmer side of your hand. Okay. Does this hurt? Okay. What about this? Okay. 
perfect mm -hmm. so this can be yeah exactly you've told me before of your job maybe try to find positions of your hand that won't cause tension on them so much and the pain is just muscular from the looks of it right exactly so you don't have to worry about that mm -hmm. very good um please if you may could you remove your shirt mm -hmm. so i'm just going to begin by inspecting you if that's okay just to see if there's any abnormalities any problems uh any problems at all I see that everything is good. I'm just going to be palpating around your chest, if I may. Very good, very good, very good. Please lay down. So I'm just going to be palpating around your abdomen, and please let me know in case anything hurts. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any pain? Perfect. You don't usually experience any abdominal pain do you mm -hmm. perfect okay yes you're doing great you're doing wonderful okay um please sit on the bed with your legs dangling so now i'm just gonna be checking your um your legs to see if there if you have any problem with uh, motor functions of the nerves are working sufficiently i'm going to be checking for any abnormalities any discoloration of skin just anything that maybe may give me an indication of some underlying issue so you haven't had any problems with your legs correct Perfect. Does this hurt? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now extend your leg a little bit. Very good. Very good. Now your other leg. And now... Does this hurt? Perfect. Move your ankles a little bit for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Um, yes. Could you please take off your socks if that's okay? Yes, so I'm just going to be inspecting the toes for any signs of infection, fungal infections, or anything like that. A lot of patients, uh, especially of the older ages, they may present with um, some discoloration, some problems within their lower limbs, and that can be indicative of a, um, you know, underlying issue. It could be even diabetes, because a lot of times diabetes does present in the lower limbs um, because of poor blood flow due to yeah, due to disease. So I can see that your toes are looking healthy, everything is fine, you look physically fit and you have been exercising. Perfect. And then, yeah, then I don't need to tell you anything. You, yeah, precisely. I don't need to check your, or renew your medication of you have asthma and that has already been by your, yeah, it, if it's been dealt with by your, by a previous doctor, that's completely fine. So yeah, you did great. Um, and, uh, I would just um, advise you to continue to exercise and to eat well and to not miss your annual checkups and you should be good to go. Absolutely. Don't worry about it at all. I'm yes. using that down in my journal. Mm -hmm. So, zero physical findings, patients, there's no cervical. fine for you to continue on that medication that won't be a problem at all yes we, do you have any questions for me mm -hmm. i would say that as many you how many times you should you exercise a week as many times as you can but it's also important to have rest days as well Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're doing great. Yes, and that will be all for today. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. Take care.